Oh yeah, we're almost there. Whee! Ouch, that was a rod to the leg. Oh, ah. All right, Mr. Buzzbait, we're calling upon you once again. Oh my gosh. Hey there. Got him. That'll make the cut. He'll make the cut. Oh yeah. Come on, buddy. Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. We are on a kind of a covert mission. I don't know if I really want to call it that, but a very important mission nevertheless. We've got the two yaks. We haven't pulled these things out in quite a while. They've been in storage for a few months, and uh, you might notice there's a giant cooler on the back of one of them. No, it's not to hold all of Badger's beer. Okay, that's, that's, what, no. <laughs> that's what a lot of you guys would think that I that's don't drink. for. <laughs> well, that's, that's what it would normally be for, but okay. there is no beer in here right now it's actually empty right this second so you guys may remember maybe a week or two ago me and badger went out to the chattahoochee river in my boat and we tried to catch some quote-unquote big bass to help stock my backyard pond that video took kind of a wild turn when we ended up catching a very rare species of bass in that river and we weren't able to catch any big largemouth bass which is what we were ultimately after well today we are revisiting that topic because my dream is for my private pond in the backyard to turn into a trophy bass pond over time and the only way to do that is to stock it continually with big fish and maybe keep the small fish kind of out of it which we're going to relocate to other places on the property so that's exactly what the big cooler is for me and badger are going out here we're going to throw top waters and worms which is what this in this pond they absolutely love and we're going to try and see if we can catch some nice big largemouth bass anything over three pounds is kind of what i'm thinking and be able to relocate back to my backyard pond it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be interesting we got some weather coming in as you can see it's gonna get a little rainy a little dangerous here soon so we're gonna have to wrap this up in about two hours so if you guys end up enjoying this video make sure you smash the thumbs up button if you're new hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification that way you guys do not miss an upload you guys are loving these ranch videos today we're kind of off the ranch right now but we're going to be going back to the land here in a little while hopefully with some big bass all right, this is always the fun part right here, folks. Getting down to the water through the little jungle area right here and avoiding the snake species, which I'm not a big fan of. I think this is the path right here. Yeah, there we go, see. Ouch, my first thorn. Ah, ah, my eyes. Oh yeah, we're almost there. Whee! Ouch, that was a rod to the leg. I bet you there's some chiggers up in here, man. Will you give me a kickoff when I get in? Ouch. Man, this has grown up a lot. <laughs> oh, ah. Dude, this is freaking swamp. Jeez. I hope Mr. Alligator's happy or whoever's uh, dammed up this area. Oh, ah. Wow, this grass didn't used to be here like this. Whew. Oh, here we go, baby. Hidden big bass heaven. God, this water's freezing, man. Oh, God. Just short, compact hip thrust. That's all there is. It always is so cold, it's crazy. Got our net today. Hopefully that's gonna come in handy. So I'm only using the net if it's a good one. This stuff is pretty snaky looking, man. All right, boys, we're in here. The real question is what's the best way to fill this cooler and get it back on here, the dam? Yeah, let's, okay, let's paddle to the dam because that way one of us can get out. You know, one of us can like put the ass end of this kayak up on the dam. We can both get out. This water is actually pretty clear, man. We are in here, boys. First things first, though, we got to get this cooler set up. Got some aerators. Need to get some good clean water in it. This is going to be a fish habitat and home for a few hours until we get back to the house. Hey, look at the spray paint. Oh, Lojo, call me. He put their, they put their number. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. That is hilarious. Yeah, it's cold, man. That water is so cold. It's crazy. Just wouldn't think it's that cold. All right. Maybe we can just fill it up like right there, you know? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Damn, that water's cold. Something. There we go. Holy if, snow. If it loses water, that's fine. Later on, let me put fish in there. Oh. All right. There, we go. there it is. How are we going to get this thing up to our truck is the real question. Let's make sure all of our bubblers are actually bubbling. That would be one. Let's check them. Oh, yeah. There's some bubbles. Not a lot, but God, the bass are going to yeah, right. pull these hoses out. I appreciate your optimism, but 
and I can't kill these bass. I need you to understand, I cannot kill these bass. If I do, I won't ever try to relocate bass ever again. This is on you. All right, we've done a systems check. We're all go. Everything's a go. Oh, I love Andrew. He just sits there. He never helps me. He just never helps. He just sits there laughing at me. All right, buddy, you ready to catch some fish and load the, load the live wall? Well, we don't have room for 20, but uh, <laughs> catching 20 would be great. We don't really have the room. Are we sure this water level is good? Because we can't add water later. It just looks low now. Quit worrying, man. You're stressing too much. Yeah, well. All right, let's paddle to the other side. And we'll just drift with the wind and just freaking, like literally even out in the middle, you can buzz bait. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you are in the pond. I've caught just as many out here as I have along the grass edge. All right, Mr. Buzzbait. We're calling upon you once again. <laughs> hey, hey. Buzz bait's gonna get crushed. All right, let's get a good first backlash in. Hey, hey, how about that? Grass on my dangle. If I don't pull one out of this grass, I'd be shocked. Come on, rain. God, look at all the bait I just spooked. Wow, how did that not get destroyed? Believe it or not, I don't know if I've ever... Fish, got him. Any good? I haven't seen him yet. It does not feel nice. Uh, he's not gonna make the cut. Nope, not gonna make it. Like me in seventh grade for the b-ball team, baby. <laughs> Go back home, try better next year, pal. Well, at least Andrew's on the board, and at least we know that the buzz bait does still kill him out here. Wow, that was good. Did that fish blow up on it? Ah, damn it. That's kind of what they do out here. Dude, that rain's gonna help. Buzz bait's uh, perfect for the rain. Yeah, literally, man, just cast any direction. Was that a pretty good looking fish? There's a lot, I mean, there's a lot of big fish out here, man. And they love the top water. I've always caught them on it. Especially if you get a day like today, it's just perfect for it. Got him. That, seem, that seems a little better. Ah, I came off. I don't know if he'd have made the cut. He was close. That was like a two and some change. I don't think that was a three though. And if we're going for threes and above, I don't, I don't think he'd have went three. I think there's enough threes in here where we could catch five threes, you know, and be able to move them. So if that's the case, we might as well just stick to threes. I got kind of a, oh, there's another one. He missed it. He missed the buzz bait. He missed it. Come on, come back for it, dude. Of course, my buzz bait just gets jacked up. Oh, come on now. That was a nice blow up. You always love the three missed fish right off the bat. Dude, they were back here in like six inches of water. When I say six inches, I mean six inches of water. Yeah, blow that spot wide open. There we go, that's it right there. That's a fish, gotta be. Wow. Got him. That'll make the cut. He'll make the cut. Oh yeah. Come on, buddy. Oh, well, I don't know. Well, he's not a three. He's a two. He looks, he looks good. We should probably put him in there for now. He's got a big head. He's got good genes. He's got a big head. All right, so this guy's not quite the size we're looking for. This is like a pound and three quarters. It does have a big head and a little body. So that means maybe he's got good genes. So I'm gonna put him in here for now. Just because. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna put me in there? <sighs> We're gonna put him in there for now. We may cull him later though, because I know there's bigger fish out here than that, and I want bigger fish than that, but for right now, it's a good little start. Why don't you go ahead and paddle this way and get the wind at your back, man? Like maybe make some little casts at the grass, but don't try to bomb cast till you get the wind at your back. <laughs> it proceeds to throw a massive bird's nest and gets nowhere close to the tree. <laughs> I literally just told the guy, hey, don't make any more bomb casts into the wind. What does he do? Make a bomb cast into the wind six seconds later and just fricks his combo up six ways from Sunday. You gotta love it. God bless America. God bless America and the choice, the freedom of choice. And he had the freedom to do that and he did it. By God, he's an American. 
I just feel like since it's my reel, you'd probably like trust what I have to say, but you know, it's fine. Do you have not, do you don't have a trailer on it? Put a new trailer on there, man. You're losing weight. That's hurting you too on your cast. Put put the big one on there if you got them. I don't know what you have, but. Oh, that's good. You mean in that freaking the back seat that you loaded down with crankbait? You don't have a saucy swimmer. That's good. No, I just looked over at your kayak. It was filled with tackle. I was like, okay, he's got everything. I didn't know you brought every crankbait for a two foot pond with grass in it. Real good option. Crank, yeah, grab a crankbait box. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be tearing them up on cranking. Just cranking them out of here. Oh my gosh. Hey there. That's a that's going to make the cut. Okay. Oh no, come on now. Oh yes. He's hooked good. That's a good looking bass. He's going to fit right in. Oh yeah. That's a little bit of an upgrade right there, baby. Woo. That was a freaking explosion too, man. He, he freaking did not like that buzz bait. There we go, that's a good looking one too. That's gonna match the ones we have. It kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Yeah. The coloration and everything. Dope, man. Heck yeah. All right, let's see if I'm not, I don't have enough hands to do this. Let's see if I can toss them in here without losing. <laughs> Put them in the box. Oh, did you see the way he ate that thing like on the run? He ate it and before I could even set the hook, he was like five feet to the right of it. Like he just ate it and just swam as fast as he could. That was crazy. When we come back up on the mouth of this creek again, it'll, I bet you it'll be reloaded. That area kind of generates a lot because of all that incoming bait. Keep just slightly raining on me. Just enough to really irritate me, not enough to really get me wet. I'm fine with that. Fudge. What the fudge is wrong with this piece of shiznap? <laughs> The backlash boys. Backslash back. All right. You don't even know what the backstreet boys are. What am I even doing? This is why I hate braid. Big braid hater right here. While Andrew's messing with his freaking reel, I'm about to go catch the Donkosaurus that's gonna hang out over here next to this log. I'm just gonna fish all the area in front of him. That way when he does get it sorted out, I've already fished it. Another secret is you gotta start cranking before the lure hits the water. You should be clicking your reel right before it hits the water and you should already be cranking. Look. That way it's just, it's already moving by the time it hits. Also, you'll get more bites like that because it'll land and it'll already be moving and the bass will just freak out and eat it right away. Whoa. Oh gosh. Something just waked away from my buzz bait. Don't wake away from it, buddy. I'm gonna need you to eat it. Oh my gosh. Oh, something waked right next to it. Oh my gosh. Dude, get over here quick. Cast this way now. Out here in the mouth. There's there's fish chasing bait in here. Oh, oh, there's a bass right there. I just saw him swim away. Dude, I mean, they're they're all right here, bro. Got him. Uh-oh. It's a dink. It's not gonna do it. I'm just gonna surf him in. It's a dink, I told you. Oh. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Another pipsqueak. They're all healthy though, man. Not bad, still fun. At least Andrew's putting in some work. He's catching some fish, just not the ones we need. All this stuff in the middle, like where you see these little sticks and stuff, I mean, it's just deadly, man. It's deadly. They're real small. They're kind of hard to see from far away, but man, they're, they always have fish on them. Why rain, why? fish hooked up andrew's got him one yeah oh maybe a two i don't know it's about a two do you want a two yeah you can put them in here for now we can call them out later sweet ain yeah, dude out here man i mean just look at look at look at some of the stuff we're fishing right here like it's really all you can fish you know like if you can fish a frog or something but any treble hook bait, you're just gonna have a hard time out here. Got rain, wind, overcast, so you're already thinking top water. But this thing, you can cover water so well, you know, that you can cover all the area around you at all times, like quickly. Because the fish are moving, you know, so you got to be able to keep up with them. It's just a superior way out here, man. There's there is no other way. Let's give them the old stand up look. Oh. Oh, 
Oh God, that was a gar. Woo! Big old gar falling out of that brush pile. I thought it was a bass. <laughs> God, if it was a bass, it was a seven pounder. And then he freaking swerved off, splash. I saw it was a gar. Woo! By the way, there's giant gar out here. And bow fins. Big ones. And they'll freaking blow up on your top water and they'll think they'll make you think you got a 10 pound bass. Ah! Oh, they, it's like they see light and they just they just go ham. Dude, I'm scared to open them by the water. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we got three, right? Right. Yeah, one of them is really good size. The other two are, I mean, they're probably two pounders, but they're thick and they're gonna grow. And that's the thing about the pond that we have so much bait. I mean, we know how much bait there is in this pond. There's just thousands of brim, just minnows and stuff. I guess we're gonna call the fishing portion. I would love to stay out here, but there's a couple things. One, there's a storm rolling in and uh, we've been really lucky to not get just pissed on, but we're going to if we stay out here much longer. I think we could catch two or three more fish over three pounds if we stayed out here, kept throwing buzz baits. You know, we got three good fish, that's a good start. And you know, why be greedy? You know what I mean? There's no sense of being greedy. Let's just make sure that this cooler set up with the aeration, let's just make sure that it can handle three fish and can transport three fish safely. And if it can, then we'll know that it can and we can use it for future videos. But let's get these guys safely in the truck with some good air and we'll see you guys back at the ranch. Guys, we just got back to the, to the pond. Look at this right here. We put out some trot lines last night for a different video. And also, this is another thing, how you know there's like a donkey or multiple. We put a float at the end of an actual pool noodle float. And it's just gone. And look, I mean, you can see not only how tight it is, but it's like, like it's pushing. It, it's pulling. Oh yeah, that's a fish. Look, look, see? <laughs> look at him. That's a heavy freaking fish. So you guys are gonna have to come back to the channel to see that video. Or you may have already seen it, I don't know, but holy crap, that could be an absolute donkey. <laughs> let's get back to this video. Now we're nice and soaked. The rain has kind of subsided for a second. So let's grab the cooler, grab our bass out, take one final look at it, make sure they're healthy before we release them and then put them in their new home. They're all floating? Yeah, they're all dead. <laughs> oh God, they're making love to me. They made sweet, sweet love to Stop, me. That water's man. cold as shit. Easy. How is that pond water so cold, man? Yeah, I hope it doesn't shock look them. Look at it. Just... <laughs> dude, yeah. you don't think it's going to shock them like putting them in this warmer water, do you? No. Get the f off me. <laughs> Stop. Stop messing with me. Help me get this <laughs> cooler out, man. This thing weighs as much as your mom. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Oswald, I'm sorry. It's not you, it's him. I'm trying to. Yeah, that seat is nice and drenched back there. It is, it is nice and wet. All your shirts, by the way, are wet. So. Uh, he's shirtless right now. So, not even because he's wet, just because that's just how he is. <laughs> but all your shirts are soaking wet. All right, let's see who we got. Let's save the big one for last, eh? Why do their colors just pop so much when they get put in a live well or a cooler? Oh, here comes the rain. So, let's do this kind of quick. This is like a probably the smallest one, but he has a nice head and shoulders, nice frame, beautiful color fish and he's gonna grow that's the thing there's so much bait in this pond i mean he's gonna grow there you go gave yeah, me a nice fine. little aggressive head shake yeah i think they're fine the drive wasn't even that bad either like it wasn't as long as i really was anticipating it would might be this one this is a slightly bigger one than that one this is probably a solid two right here once again really chunky this is a slightly bigger one he looks fine looks completely fine make sure oh yeah he bit my bit my thumb yep he's biting it really good oh yeah he swam off. Now let's get big girl out. Oh, hey there. Now this is this is a definitely a three and some change for sure. Beautiful fish too. Just an absolute beautiful fish. Yeah, let's get her in there. Oh yeah. All right. Three nice sized fish in their new homes. They're clearly fine. I mean, they're completely fine. They're healthy. They made the trip. Had so much fun doing this, guys. Please get in that comment section. Let us know if you want to see more of this type of stuff. That's definitely not the last three fish I'm going to stock in this pond because the overall goal would be to make this a trophy bass pond or as close to it as we possibly can. We own this property now. We're going to be out here for years and years and years. So I want to make this the absolute best bass fishery it can be. It's already a really good catfish fishery and there's a billion brim in here. Environment's perfect it's set up for these bass charlie what do you think buddy he's got like flowers on his nose or something anyways folks we're gonna get out of here because it's starting to rain all over this nice expensive camera and badger himself with no shirt on <laughs> guys hit the thumbs up button continue to give us ideas to do out here on the ranch and make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification that way you guys do not miss an upload i love you peace